it's finally here! Node compositing in After Effects, a process that allows you to combine all your visual elements using a graph and have more flexibility during the compositing process. This is now possible with Magic Nodes, an extension for After Effects for node compositing. Let me show you how it works. As you know, compositing is the process of combining visual elements such as fire, smoke, backgrounds from separated sources into a single image to create the illusion that they are part of the same scene. In the visual effects industry, you have basically two methods for compositing your shots. The layer-based method, like in After Effects for example, where you stack all your elements on top of each other and the node-based method, like in Nuke or Fusion, where you combine all your elements using a graph. Both have their benefits. Layer-based compositing is better at visualizing and adjusting time and duration of the different elements of your shot. However, the node-based method is better at visualizing how the elements are blended together, you have much more flexibility during the compositing process, you can quickly switch in one click what element you want to preview in your viewer, etc. With Magic Nodes, you can now do both. So let's create a cool visual effects shot together using this extension. Here I have an empty project in After Effects, with only one imported sequence. This sequence is a full CGI shot representing a massive fire destroying a city, as you can see in movies like Knowing, Armageddon, etc. But this 3D render doesn't look really good. So let's try to improve this sequence to make it look great. To launch the extension, just go to Extensions and click on Magic Nodes. As soon as you launch it, it will open a new window in which you will be able to create and edit your node graph. The user interface is straightforward. You've got here the options to import footage from your project panel, or to create a solid, or a merge node or an FX node. And here you've got your project settings. By default, it is set to an HD resolution and 24 frames per second. Let me change that to fit the properties of my sequence. Ok, so I will import the sequence into my graph and this will create a node. When you hover a node, you get multiple options. You can edit the properties of a node like its name, for example. For other nodes like solids, you can also edit the size and duration of the node and make these properties independent from the project settings. You can also duplicate a node or delete a node. Alright, so this XR sequence contains multiple passes, such as an ambient occlusion pass, a self-illumination pass, which is my fire simulation, and a Z-depth pass, which needs to be composited together. I will extract the pass I want using the Extractor effect. Rename this node to Beauty and then repeat the same process for the Ambient Occlusion Pass. The Self Illumination Pass and the Z Depth Pass. Ok, let's check out what Magic Nodes is doing under the hood. When you create a node, Magic Nodes will create a layer in the viewer composition. This is the only composition Magic Nodes will ever create. There are no pre-compositions involved, so no additional memory usage or slower render times. When you select a node, it automatically selects the corresponding layer, so you can easily apply effects like you always do in After Effects. And if you double-click on it, it will open the node in a new viewer, which will allow you to compare the result of this node alone with the result of your compositing graph. Like Nuke or Fusion, you can preview the result of your compositing at any point of the graph. And this is done using this little button right here. It actually enabled the corresponding layer in your timeline. When you get a larger graph, it is very handy because you can easily switch between the nodes to preview the result of your compositing. Now, to merge these two nodes, it's very easy. You simply need to create a merge node. Merge node has three inputs. You've got an input for your foreground, which is the element you want to be placed on top, one for your background, which is the element you want to be placed behind, 
and one for track mat. So I want to merge my beauty pass with my ambient occlusion pass to increase a bit more the realism of my shot. Let's enable this so I can preview the results. So here you have your blending modes. And to make your workflow faster, you can preview the result of the merge just by hovering this eye icon here. In this case, I will select the multiply blending mode. Now, I want to create a fog effect in the streets of my city. This is done by merging a solid color with my Z-depth pass. So let's create a solid, rename it to fog, and change its color to a brownish one. Okay, now I just need to merge it with my Z-depth pass. To do this, I set my solid as my background, my Z-depth pass as my track mat, and I select the Luma inverted mode. This means that my solid will appear only on the darker areas of my pass. Let's merge these two graphs together to view the current results. Okay, that's good. One thing very handy is that you can retract the merge node to enhance the graph's presentation and clarity. If you look at what's going on under the hood in After Effects, you can see that there are no precompositions involved. Normally, you would have to precompose each of these graphs in order to blend them together. The thing is that if you have a larger graph, this would result in a lot of compositions being created and it could take a lot of memory. But here there are no precompositions, so how does it work? In the effects control of my merge node, you can see that there are three copies of an effect, one for each input. It simply takes the output of the layer you selected here and display it on this merge layer using a blending mode. This is actually an effect that I have created in order to avoid precomposing. There is a similar built-in effect which is called calculations. However, you can see that this effect does not work in 32 bits per channel. So I had to write my own effect that works on both 8, 16 and 32 bits per channel. This plugin is free, so you can open up and render any project made with magic nodes even if you don't have my magic nodes extension. It is available on my website hollywoodillusion.com. Ok, let's go back to our shot. It seems to me that the fire lacks some realism. To fix this, I will use my self-illumination pass here and just blend it with my current compositing using the light and blending mode. Ok, much better. We can already compare the initial raw 3D render with our current result by double-clicking on the first node. Don't forget to set the mode of your viewer to effects so you can see the output of your node with all your effects you applied on it. We can go even further by adding like a heat distortion, a heat turbulence that deforms the image in the areas where it's very hot, near the fire, for example. A heat distortion is done by using a turbulent displace effect. However, we don't want to apply this effect on the whole image, only in the areas near the fire. We already have this self-illumination pass, which isolates our fire. So we can use this pass to create a mask that represents the areas of the image where we want to apply our heat distortion. One thing very important in node compositing is the concept of reusability. You can reuse the nodes for other purposes. With magic nodes, you can create multiple connections for each node so you can have a lot of flexibility in your compositing. So to create this mask, we need to blur out our self-illumination pass and increase a bit more the brightness. To apply effects, you have two possibilities. You can either apply an effect as you always do in After Effects. The problem is that if you reuse the node multiple times like in this situation, this effect will be present in all of your output connections. Or you can create an FX node. The main benefit is that you will be applying the effect only for this output connection, let's call it mask, and throw all the effects I need to create my mask. Now let's create the heat turbulence using a turbulence displace effect, and merge it using the mask we've created. I select the luma track matte mode because we want to use the brighter areas of our image as a mask. That's good. Now let's apply this result to our main compositing graph. 
Yeah, it's going well. Finally, I can add some glow to my shot. I will call this node glow. And then add all the effects needed to create the glow I want inside of this node. I can also add some dirt on the camera by merging my shot with a dirt image. So let's import my dirt image into the graph, connect it to a merge node, and select the screen blending mode. Then I just need to adjust its opacity to make it more subtle. And finally, we can add some vignetting by creating a solid, adjusting its color to black, and merging it with the color burning blending mode. And that's it! So working with a node graph is a very flexible way to do compositing. For example, I can say, OK, we are almost there, but we are missing something here. I want to try adding some clouds because it's an aerial shot. So let's add some clouds using a fractal noise and animate them. This is also why it's very handy to have layers, because this way it is very easy to adjust time and duration of your animation and you can adjust your animation comparing it to other layers, for example. Ok, great, but it would be good to also have these clouds illuminated by the fire. We can use the mask we've created earlier to apply a levels effect only on the part of the clouds illuminated by the fire. And that's it! When I'm finally satisfied with my results, I can link my subgraph to my previous nodes to complete the process. With magic nodes, you can finally do node compositing in After Effects, which will improve your workflow and provide better clarity of all the elements composited in your shot. We finally get a software in which we can do both node-based and layer-based compositing. Magic Nodes is now available on my website hollywoodillusion.com and it's compatible starting from After Effects 2017. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot guys for all your support and your kind comments. I had so much fun working on this project and many updates will come. It is a community tool so if you have any request, please let me know. I hope you liked this video demonstration of Magic Nodes and I see you soon for another exciting tutorial.